You know, if they would have, like, judged me on cuteness, I don't want <laughs> Oh, my goodness! Danny Trio! I am now a raccoon. It is like a complete transformation the minute you put that on. It's like a lot of actors like to stay in character. Well, all my movies are prisons or bad guys, and I don't like staying in that character. But this was just like fun. And it was like, man, I was the cutest raccoon in the world. When I seen this costume, I have a dog. His name is John Wesley Hardy. Now, John Wesley Hardy was the meanest cowboy ever. Once shot a man for snoring too loud. And my dog looks just like that. You know what? I've got over 350 credits on IMDb. And I gotta say, this is you know, one of the top three. It was just so much fun. Where's he going? Oh, wait, raccoon. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I got to be a kid. I mean, like, just, like, funny. I loved it because he didn't follow script. So no. you're on the edge of your seat, and that is, that's entertainment at its finest. Congratulations. Great job. You know, working with the coaches and the, the choreographers, they knew, you know, I wasn't, like, a trained singer. So... They made it really easy for me. You know, it's like, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Wow thing. You make my heart. You know, so it's like, oh, okay, I can do that. Nobody knew what I was. Complete freedom. So I can get crazy as I wanted to. And I did. Wow. I was rocking harder than Steven Tyler. You know, in the clues, there was a children's magnifying glass, and everybody was stumped about what it was. I, I got nothing. <laughs> I was in Spy Kids. There was a box cutter. Was he in jail? And I was a boxer. And they didn't get the fact that I've died more than anybody in film history on screen. I wonder if you won an Oscar for that. <laughs> this is definitely a huge superstar. Exactly. I am dying to know who this is. That really shocked the panelists. I, I thought it was funny because I worked with everybody they talked about. Gary Busey. I'm going to go with Mike Tyson right now. The big time legendary Oscar winner, John Voight. John Voight, he was one of the guys that gave me a start. Here we go. Come on, that kid. A Jenny. I love Jenny McCarthy, and I mean, the whole panelist was got beautiful, but uh, Jenny works with autistic children. I'm helping raise two autistic kids, and you know what? I love the work that you do. Thank you so and much. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I remember my mom once said, if you don't want to sign autographs, go be a plumber. And uh, I thought about that. So I don't care how much I work. You know, you guys, the production is the worker. I'm here just to, like, have fun. And I did. <laughs> Raccoon, how you doing? Great! <laughs> this is the most fun I've ever had in my life! Well, let me tell you something. I think after this, I'm still not known as a singer. I'm speechless, much like the raccoon was during the song. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but I had so much fun singing, and I think singing is one of the things that makes this such a happy place. I learned that I can do anything I want. I always say the sky's the limit. You know, I'd rather shoot for the moon and miss than aim for the gutter and make it. And today we shot for the moon. You know, I was a rock star. I love you! Wow, thing! Chicken, 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 chicken! Hey, listen, raccoon. Me and you are going to have a long, long relationship. Because basically, I think you are cooler than anybody out there, really. And uh, you're so damn cute. And I'll be seeing you again. Kiss on the nose. It's a